everybody, we have Lohit. And as the legacy continues, he is there who has made us very proud. Lohit, can you tell the reason to everybody? Um, I secured an All India rank of about 54. My God, All India rank 54 in CLAT. We have been dreaming of a double digit rank and he has done it all. Uh, so what was your dream NLU? Um, um, it was NLSIO all the way through. My God, and you've got it? Yes, ma'am. So I if you so. dream it, you may be able to achieve it. But only dreaming and achieving, is that possible? I believe no. If you have to dream, you will also have to put in a lot of effort. And who helped you in those efforts, especially with the GK section of GLAD, which is so unpredictable? I think it won't be fair of me if I don't mention the, the help that we received from CL. Yes. Uh, for example, with new scanners on Manthan, I don't think we needed to do anything else other than cover just new scanners in Manthan because they yeah. were so comprehensive and it yes. was a proper compilation of everything that we needed. Yeah. Although a lot of people had recommended other sources to me, I found new scanners to be pretty much everything you'll ever need to prepare for current affairs. So what was your favorite from news canvas? Was it the daily updates, event analyze, GK shots, SAR 250 MCQs, weekly quiz, monthly quiz? I had to hold my breath to speak it, it all. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I'd, I'd, I very much like the, the quizzes because you could test yes. yourself immediately in real time how you did it. Yeah, very yeah. Early. Great. And this time, because the paper pattern was all the way turned up and down and everybody was so furious and anxious at the same time when they saw the paper. What was your first reaction when you saw the paper? Uh, um, actually, even for ALIT, the format was slightly switched around. Yes. Um, in my mind, it was simply that because the format was switched around and current affairs wasn't the most easiest, I figured that most people would panic. And I realized that if I just maintain a you know, calm head, I might just increase my percentile and maybe just push my marks up, you know, four, maybe five or six marks extra because everybody else was panicking. So all I did was just, just, just take a step back and whatever I could do in my position, whatever I could control, I just did that. I just gave it my best shot with, uh, you know. With but I think all I this requires, all this, uh, you know, requires a lot of pre-preparation that you might have did in terms of mocks or in terms of revision that you might yeah. have done because otherwise if you are a first attempter uh, you would not be able to get this philosophy in your head after the exam that you've given but then if you might not have attempted mocks so did you attempt mocks or did you revise thoroughly um, um i i did give all the mocks that cl did give us uh, yes. I have to mention that CL's mocks were extremely close to what CLAT's mock, uh, CLAT actually turned out to be. Um, okay. And the, the best part was that CL's mocks were varied in their difficulty. So at times we'd get more difficult papers and sometimes we'd get easier ones. But all in all, it would balance out. So it'd help you if CLAT turns out a little bit tougher or if CLAT turns out a little bit easier. But yeah, all in all, I think so, it was extremely balanced. So whatever discussion we've had so far, I feel you are a person who likes to practice a lot. And you mentioned that you liked mocks, you liked the quizzes. And that's how I believe that you kept on testing yourself. Uh, before sitting for the actual examination, you have tested yourself so many a times that it was just like a dance rehearsal that you did too many times before attempting it on the stage for the annual function in the school, something like that. Yes. And uh -huh. the other thing, the last thing that I would like to ask you, uh, that what message do you want to give to all class asp CLAT aspirants that must be there and, you know, might not even be taking a coaching or might be taking a coaching? What is that one thing that every CLAT aspirant has to remember? Only then he or she can sail the success boat. Well, I'm not too sure if I'm qualified to answer that question, but I'll give my opinion regardless. Yes. Um, my preparation actually wasn't too long. So I started my preparation in around the end of September. So I did maybe two and a half, three months of it. So it's not, you know, it's not the longest because the people I had spoken to had done like six months or seven months of it. But then the truth is, if you can stick yourself to be consistent over those three months, it's more than enough to get you through. If you can put in, it doesn't matter if you're putting in, you know, if you put in 24 hours one day and then do nothing for the next three days, it's pretty much detrimental. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't give you a net positive. If you do eight hours a day for three days, it helps you a lot more than just doing, you know, one day, the whole thing, and then nothing the, the next few days. Um, one more thing I would like to say is it's very easy. So what I used to do was I used to get into these rabbit holes 
And I used to go in a cycle of preparation. So I used to start with, for example, current affairs. And then I do a mock and then immediately I do something else. It was like a mm-hmm. whole circle. And then I would do one after another, each section after another. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's uh, very beneficial if mm-hmm. you get into a, a cycle of sorts. If you can do like, even with sectionals, if you do like one section in legal, one section in logic, one in RC, one in current affairs, one in quants, take a break, do the same thing again. This is what mm-hmm. I kept doing for pretty much all of my time. Yeah, instead of doing the whole day current affairs and then getting bored of it and then not picking yeah. it up for three days because you had a lot of it in your mind. So you probably you did this. So I think um, now after discussion with you, I believe what I have comprehended is that every student might have a different strategy. You made this strategy because you thought that it would benefit and you might have even uh, found it beneficial by attempting mocks and understood that it was, you know, something which was convenient. But I think everybody can make their own strategies and keep on testing them on the parameters of mocks and also keep revising because, um, you know, if you just do it, if you just do one topic of June and then don't revise it at all, there are very high chances you will not remember it. You will just remember that something like that. That's it. So, yeah. Thank you so very much, Lohit, for your time. We wish you all the very best, even for the future, because your journey of life has just begun and you've already stepped in the most successful boat. I believe you sailed through and you keep remembering us because we will remember you forever. Yes, sir. I I don't think I can thank Seal enough for the contribution that they gave. Yeah, God bless you.